Our final video of four shall be a brief look into 1921's Souls on the Road, translated from Rojo no Raikon, directed by Minoru Murata. Minoru Murata is cited as one of the most influential figures of the silent era in Japan. I wish I could learn more about his work directly, but it appears as though this particular film is the only one available. Much of Murata's filmography is said to be lost, which breaks my heart. This film is not a direct adaptation of Gorky's The Lower Depths, rather it incorporates a narrative inspired by it as one of multiple within its wider framework, possibly, probably, inspired by D.W. Griffith. If Murata had seen the work of Victor Sjöström, that would have been an influence also, I assume. Another literary source which supposedly influenced the film's anthological narrative was a German novel, Mutter Landstrasse Das End Einer Jugend by Wilhelm August Schmidtbon. There are four primary stories contained within Souls of the Road. The major narrative seems to be that of the once celebrated violinist, embarrassed and disgraced after making errors during performances, who returns home to see his family accompanied by his wife and his daughter. Meanwhile, two escaped convicts are hiding out in the woods. A young woodcutter attempts to gain his master's, the violinist's father, approval, and a wealthy young woman's enthusiasm for Christmas is explored. The violinist is rejected by his father, but receives sympathy from his former fiancé. The woodcutter crosses paths with the young lady and is invited to a passionate Christmas party. She wants everyone, regardless of wealth, to share in her enjoyment. I was very moved and impressed by this film. I suppose we can refer to this film as Griffithian in its cinematic composition. Narratively, it reminds me of Victor Sjöström more than anything, although there are more intimate dramas of this sort from Griffith as well. This film is bookended with a quote attributed to Maxim Gorky advocating peace, love, and Jesus Christ. I can get behind that. As you may have gathered, this is a pretty loose adaptation, if we can even call it that of the lower depths, but it is clearly claiming an inspiration, and so it is, it is certainly worth acknowledging. The overall tone is far more optimistic than that of the play. Actually, Kurosawa's film is the only one of these four to utilise the film's nihilistic ending, both Anand and, and Renoir's films opted for a happier ending, and Murata does so also. I mean, there is a bittersweet twang to these three endings all the same, but they clearly display more optimism than Gorky appears to have. Now I'd just like to briefly say a few words on this film's composition in relation to the other three films we have previously discussed. Note this film's emphasis on framing images and intuitive cropping when it seeks to magnify an emotional current of the scene. An early cinema, as early cinema pioneers were discovering, their technology was well suited when it came to composing dynamic moving picture slideshows. Technology in 1921 cannot accommodate the... couldn't accommodate the comparative cinematographic sophistication of Renoir's 1936 production, although it is apparent that Murata had a very clear vision of what the new medium was capable of in its then current form, as a series of evocative dramatic images which he as the artist could manipulate the emotional vector of. An extremely considered dramatic film production for 1921, I highly recommend viewing Souls on the Road. If you want to explore the basics of narrative enunciation, this is a fantastic picture to do so with. Obviously these are the bare bones, but in a sense, if one was to start making films even now, they would probably find it useful to compose a film in this manner, and then work their way intuitively through the further capabilities of camera technology, as directors had throughout history, have throughout history, until one has attained a confidence at how to illustrate a narrative as a filmmaker. Watch films, make films, Wonder why your films don't look like their films, and work on that. So that closes our exploration of the Lower Depths adaptations, or films inspired by the Lower Depths, perhaps that might be more accurate. I had a lot of fun doing this, it was delightfully insightful to go backwards over 40 years of cinematic narrative composition. Very nice indeed. I have linked in the description free web, web resources which I found useful in clarifying elements of this film's narrative, and they are good pieces in general, so do give them a click. But more importantly, do watch this film. Well, that's all. Have a great one.